It's amazing how you can speak right to my heart. Without saying a word, you can light up the dark. Try as I may, I can never explain what I hear when you don't say a thing. The smile on your face lets me. The truth in your eyes, saying you'll never leave me. The touch of your hand says you'll catch me wherever I fall. You say it best when you say nothing at all.
glowing in your face And the whole world is on your case I could offer you a warm embrace To make you feel my love When the evening shadows and the stars appear and there is no one there to dry your tears I could hold you for a million years To make you feel my love I know you haven't made your mind up yet But I will never do you wrong Out in my mind where you belong I go hungry, I go black and blue I go crawling down the avenue No, there's nothing that I wouldn't do To make you feel my love Gemma, Robert, bride and bridegroom. King David in the psalm says, Baruch haba b'shem Hashem, blessed are you both who have come here in the name of the Almighty, Be'erach Nuchem Mibes Hashem. From this chuppah, which represents the protection of the Almighty, we extend to you both our blessings for your future happiness. Gemma, your Hebrew name is Margali, which means a precious stone. And you are a gem. There's no question about it. We said the King David, we sang the song the Chazan sang for you. A woman of valor who can find for her price is far above rubies. We don't say you're worth your weight in gold. We say you're like a precious stone. And the reason is very, very simple. Gold, one ounce costs X amount. Two ounces is two times X. A precious stone, one carat is X. Two carats goes out of all proportion. As you will grow, your value will increase beyond all estimation. That's why, Gemma, you truly are a gem. Robert, <laughs> I've seen you growing up. Yeah, don't worry, I won't tell you. <laughs> I won't tell the truth, I'll tell you. But Robert, I've had you for your bummy, so I've seen you coming and I've seen you growing. You're a young man who cares. You take life very, very seriously. And your parents get a lot of pleasure and a lot of nachas from you. And I really mean this. Whatever you've given them in the past, they'll forgive you. Because today, <laughs> today you really are making them the proudest parents that one could ever wish for. So my simple blessing to you is I can give you blessings. I'm only a human being. I'm a mortal. But all I'm going to pray is that God will give you not only what you need, but please God, he will give you as well what you want. So on behalf of all of us here assembled today, all I can say to you is, may God bless you both. Amen. There's nothing that I wouldn't do To make you feel my love Robert, yes. is this your ring? Yes. You bought it with your own money, yes. and it was expensive, I hope. <laughs> so, good enough for me. You will take the ring, and you will repeat the formula, which means be consecrated to me with this ring, according to the law of Moses and of Israel. You will then place it on the forefinger of the right hand. Teacher, do you know which is your right hand? <laughs> right, is that all right? Hare. Hare. At Mekudeshes. Mekudeshes. Li. Li. Zu. Kedas. Moshe. Moshe. Yisrael. Mekudeshes. You're now married. Halfway there. 
Almighty turn his face towards both of you and grant you a long, happy, healthy and a very peaceful and successful future as husband and wife. Amen. Amen. Mazel tov! Oh my God, you did it! I reckon it's again my turn to win some or learn some, but I won't hesitate no more, no more. It cannot wait. I'm yours. And I laughed. I guess what I'll be saying is there ain't no better reason to rid yourself of it. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky.
behalf of Jackie and Karen and Harvey, and most importantly, Gemma and Robert, the new Mr. and Mrs. Callan, I welcome you all. What proud parents Jackie and I are today to have walked Gemma down the aisle, looking so beautiful and glamorous. <laughs> Gemma, it is not just your academic successes that are important. You have grown into a fine young lady. The way that you interact with your peers and your family, and above all, your sisters, bring us great joy. Your fondness for Carly and Jody is immeasurable, and I hope these strong relationships continue long into the future. I'm going to come to Robert shortly. I would like to say a few words about Jackie, without whom this magnificent occasion would not have been possible. Thank you, Jackie, for all your hard work. You have worked tirelessly in order to ensure that everything would run smoothly today. I would now like to turn to Robert. Today, I'm proud to call you son and welcome you to our family. Jackie and I thought that in the early days of the relationship that it was unlikely to last. With you being an Arsenal supporter and Gemma being a superb supporter. I'm pleased to say that you've been able to put your differences to one side and not have too many digs at each other on this subject. However, I do have to mention that Spurs are 10 points above Arsenal. Over the four years, your love for each other has grown ever stronger. And I'm sure everyone here wishes you both health and happiness in the years to come. I hope that everyone enjoys this wonderful occasion and ask you all to help make this a memorable day for Gemma and Robert, Karen Harvey, and Jackie and myself. Thank you. Family, friends, Karen and Harvey, Jackie and David, the new Mr. and Mrs. Cowan. It's great to finally be here, but before we start on the groom, we'd like to say, Gemma, you really look stunning today. I've known Robert since he was about this high. <laughs> And if you're still wondering, that's about 16 years. It's fair to say that our friend Robert hasn't always been a people's person. From the early days of school, I believe he was expelled from six in total. <laughs> and, shush, I got the mic. And getting banned from pretty much every one of his friends' houses, trouble seemed to follow him around. Daniel and I both had the pleasure of working with Robert around the age of 16. Daniel at Boreham finest bowling alley, myself at the local Woolworths. Needless to say, Robert got fired from both places of work for arrogance and threatening to decapitate a member of staff, respectively. After uni, Robert met the love of his life, Gemma. I remember asking Robert where they were going on their first date, to which he replied, like I'd tell you. <laughs> I was never allowed to meet any of Robert's girlfriends for at least three months, if not longer, as I was definitely going to embarrass him or ruin any chance of things going further. Anyway, that night, to my amazement and delight, who should walk past the window of the coffee cup in Hampstead and stop right outside whilst I was having a coffee. I watched him cancel six of my calls and mouth to Gemma, it's just my annoying friend. <laughs> so I waited until the right moment. The mood was intimate and at the point I thought there could be a first kiss, I banged on the window as hard as I could. <laughs> Watching Robert go a lovely shade of red, grab Gemma and run away as fast as he could up the street. 
Boy, was he angry. And that little incident set me back another three months before I was allowed to meet Gemma. The stag. If you didn't know, we decided to take Robert to Amsterdam. You might think that a stag would go with the flow on his stag do. Not Robert. We were tasked with planning a stag, not around what we wanted to do, but according to his specific instructions regarding what he was not willing to participate in. Here are a few so you get an idea of what we mean. One, no drinking. Robert has apparently always been allergic to alcohol. So much so that he decided to ignore this allergy three weeks before his stag and got plastered with his colleagues at the company Christmas party. <laughs> are you the culprits? Unfortunately, he was allergic again for the stag. <laughs> Number two, nothing humiliating. Robert was so worried about being humiliated that he spent most of the weekend pretty much in tears if anyone did anything that wasn't either explained to him beforehand or scheduled on the itinerary. <laughs> you hang your head in shame. Three, absolutely no public nudity. Robert made it very clear his little general wasn't for public consumption. And four, absolutely no pictures on Facebook. Well, I must say, Guy and I have been excellent best men and adhere to all of these silly, if not sometimes ridiculous demands. So Robert, as promised, we didn't put this picture on Facebook. Robert, Gemma, we're so happy for you both. You really do make a wonderful couple. We're delighted to be able to share this day with you. And I hope you enjoy every day of the rest of your lives together. Would you please join us in standing? The toast is Robert and Gemma. Wow, look at my beautiful bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm truly humbled to be standing before you, surrounded by families and friends, family, friends and family, both old and new, as a married man. Thank you all so much for being here, and to reiterate what David said earlier, a special thanks to all of you that travelled from afar. I feel lucky to have two best men. They offer very different qualities, but the fact remains, I couldn't imagine this day without both of them being here as my best man. My stag was brilliant and well organised, despite the fact that I spent most of the time dressed as a baby taking a piggyback or a lady of the night. <laughs> That's terrible, honestly. <laughs> Their hard work leading up to the wedding has been amazing and the support today has been superb. Thank you guys, I know that we continue to be successful in life and always be there for me as great mates. And of course to the gorgeous bridesmaids, Lauren, Jodie and Stacey, who have offered great support to Gem all the way through. I know she had a great time on her hen, and considering the pictures I was allowed to see, I certainly dread the ones I wasn't. <laughs> yeah. We're also so happy to have Jem's sister Kylie with us today as well. From day one, you and David welcomed me into your home and treated me as one of the family. I could be myself around you and you still didn't warn Jem to stay away. <laughs> that, that I know of. <laughs> I really could not have asked for better in-laws. Both honest and caring, I'm lucky enough to have two parents who do so much for me, and now I have four. Add to that the possibility of the height gene jumping in generation. Thanks to David, we could end up with a cow and over five foot six. <laughs> now doesn't my mum look beautiful tonight? You are the definition of a Jewish mother. Loving, caring, generous, always willing to help, and you love to gossip. <laughs> Often I hear news about my best friends from her before I actually hear it from them. <laughs> I do though remember every time I drove back to uni, I always had clean clothes and frozen food to keep me alive for another few weeks at least. For a little woman, you have a big heart. I consider myself fortunate to have your kindness bestowed upon me for over 27 years now. I really want to thank you and Dad for everything you've done for me, and I know you'll continue to be the same with Jem as well. <clears throat> Sorry, as well. It was clear that we both didn't want the date to end, 
but eventually I dropped her home and watched her walk through the front door. I knew from right then she was someone special. Eventually, and not a moment too soon, I managed to man up, steady my nerves, relax, and ask the important life-changing question. David, can I marry your daughter, please? <laughs> After that, the actual proposal was quite easy. Not to sound overconfident here, but I had an inkling Jen was going to say yes. <laughs> Mainly because I stumbled across her things to do before I'm 30 list. <laughs> Nevertheless, hearing her say yes made me the happiest man alive. Jem really is my best friend. We can laugh and talk about anything. As a person, she is thoughtful, considerate and compassionate. Recently promoted to head of year four, as well as being PE coordinator, I never tire from hearing all the amazing things people say about her. Thank you for marrying me and for loving me as much as you do. I love you with all my heart and will do everything I can to make you and us happy for the rest of our lives. Party every day and I'm feeling 
just want to say thank you all so much for coming this evening. We have had the most amazing day. It's unbelievable. Everybody says to you, remember it, it's going to go so quickly, and you, you just can't believe it. It's been the most amazing day. So thank you all, because you've all been such an important part of it. Um, but most importantly, to my wonderful mum and dad. But most of all, to my Robert. Oh.